hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed i hope you're doing all right and may you stay blessed please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out find our facebook and instagram we go by funny and jesse say hi we'll say hi back our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to who is god what is god sad guru versus dr zaki naik whose philosophy is right this was actually suggested by someone so a big shout out to whoever suggested this yeah the best keep the suggestions coming and we'll look into them so without wasting time let's get into the video my question first question i have few questions to ask who is god brother has a question who is god and this is the same question that was asked by the christians to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he was what should I answer we can keep on speaking about God. Then the revelation came. Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4. Kul ho Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. Allah hu samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid, walam yulad. He begets not, nor is begotten. Walam yakul lahu kufana. There is nothing like him. This is a four line definition of Almighty God given in the Quran. Any candidate you say is Almighty God, if that candidate fits in this four line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. The first is Kul Hu Allah Ahad. Faith Allah one and only. Number two, Allah Hu Samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yulid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor is he begotten. Malam yakul la kufanat. There is nothing like him. This is the four line definition of Almighty God. Whoever you worship and say is God, if he fits in this four line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that person as God. Hope that. The soul is sacred for people, the body is filthy. How is it possible? Yes, that's what we've been doing, isn't it so? Saying God is sacred, creation is filthy. How is it possible? Your very… the very thought of God occurred to you only because you saw creation, isn't it? When you were born and you opened your eyes, you looked around, so much creation. Before you came here, so much has happened, obviously you did not create it. So you thought, there must be a creator. This is how you come to the creator, isn't it? The moment you thought there must be a creator, because you are in a human form, you thought it must be a big man. A small man like me cannot do all this, it must be a big man. Just two hands, how can it do so much creation? must be eight hands, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it so? If you were a buffalo, you would be really thinking, God is a huge buffalo. <laughs> isn't it so? Yes or no? <laughs> you go and ask a buffalo and see, a buffalo will insist, God is a huge buffalo, maybe four horns. <laughs> you know Idi Amin? You heard of Idi Amin? The Uganda man? Idi Amin declared, God is black. I agree with him. If a white man can have a white God, why can't a black man have a black God? But both those people are confused. We know God is brown. <laughs> because he visited us, you know. <laughs> Some time ago, I was talking to a group of people in Nashville in Tennessee. 
and I was telling them a joke. In the joke, I just referred to God as Him. Immediately a few ladies stood up. Do you believe God is a man? I knew where it's going. I said, see, I <laughs> see, I'm only telling you a joke. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You said Him. Do you believe God is a man? They take the jokes very seriously. <laughs> Now women are arguing, God could be a woman. Such problems exist only in those cultures in India. We have man God, we have woman God, we have cow God, we have monkey God, we have everything, every kind, crawling one, creeping one, flying one, because we foresaw all the problems of the future. See, when man was the most powerful force on the planet, man was naturally God. Now women are also gaining in their power, so women are questioning, why, why can't it be a woman? So tomorrow suppose dogs gain lot of power which they're gaining, so dogs will ask, why not a dog God? Actually the spelling also is close, you know. He seemed to be closer than you, isn't it? <laughs> so your idea of God is just an, ex an exaggerated version of yourself, isn't it? Your idea of God is just an exaggerated version of yourself. See, you are still not able to define yourself, isn't it? Whatever definition you put on yourself is not correct. Any kind of definition you put on you, it is not enough to describe this one. When this small piece of creation is like this, the source of creation, how are you going to put a definition on it? You cannot define it, you cannot understand it, you can only dissolve into it. You can experience it, you can never know it, you can't make knowledge out of it. Whatever you knowledge, have knowledge you have about God is just pure nonsense, cultural nonsense. Depending upon which kind of culture you are in, that kind of God you have, isn't it? It can only be experienced. Experience does not mean you can eat it or you can grasp it. No, you can experience only by dissolving in it. There is no other way. So, we are just looking for methods of dissolution so that we can experience something far bigger than ourselves. In as much as they explained who or what God is in their own way according to what they believe, I feel like there is some similarities. And, and the fact that they are both acknowledging that you want to experience something bigger than what you yourself are, something bigger than you, says a lot, you know. I, I believe some people will beg to differ and for the people that want to see the differences, I mean that's fine, otherwise I respect both in their fields, let one explain it the way they want to and the other the way they want to, it's up to you to decide on which one you're going with, you know, but I feel like both of them have knowledge, <coughs> both of them have knowledge that uh, we can learn from actually if we're not too judgmental I will come the explanations fully um, and um, I wish this video was actually longer it's not it's not the whole point is not to pit them against each other but to look at what they have to say and try and decode it to the best of my knowledge or your knowledge and yeah let me know what you guys actually think a big shout out to the person that suggested this what do you have to say about this video what are your thoughts which god um not which god but rather who do you think explained it better for you let me know down below please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link and i'll be glad to do it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget 
to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video